Hi y'all, this is Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting, and I have Cody with me tonight, another one of my C's, he's my youngest, say hey Cody, say hey. hey. So Cody, one of, um, I said I was making this craft for two classes, a group of third graders, Cody's in third. So um, not everybody is a crafting mom, and sometimes we end up volunteering for things that may be out of our depth. Um, I do have quite a bit of experience, you know, with crafting and just thought I might give you um, some pointers if you are getting ready to do something like this, whether this craft or something similar um, with a group of kids. So we want to make sure that we are prepared. So um, I'll link the video where I actually made this, but but let's go into what we're doing to, to get ready to do these at school. Um, so first, I want to make sure I have all my supplies. So we have our cups. So we have all our cups here. And I'm, you know, I had to make sure I bought enough. And we have our ribbons. Well, hold on. Hold on, Cody. We have our hooks. Okay. So we have everything. Notice how we've already got it in baskets. Um, we have our ribbons and we have our dollar twenty-five stickers. I'm gonna kind of separate those. Um and I consider just taking them like this, but some kids would do better than others. And we've got our glass balls. So that's that's all the, the materials. Um, oh, and our pom-poms. There's our pom-poms. So that's, that's all our materials. But then what do we need to put it together with? So we do need hot glue. So um, you wanna take some basic supplies if you are going to a craft day. So, um, I'm covered up by ugly spot in my basket. I'm going to take two of these low temp hot glue guns. These are just the Dollar Tree ones. Um, I'm, unless I have another volunteer, I'm probably only going to have one, but in case one quits working, I'll have a backup taking, making sure I have plenty of glue sticks. I also have a, um, an extension cord I'm going to take. Um, it's kind of bulky to put in here right now. Um, some Sharpies and you don't know what the sharpies are for that's so the kids can write their name on it some other things that might be might be good to take would be um, a pair of scissors and really that's all that I can think of that we would we would need to take I am going to take a couple of extra stickers and um, so after I get my kits made that I'm gonna make them a little bit I will I'll put some extras of, of all the materials in here just in case um, somebody messes up their sticker, they misplace their, their clip or their cut breaks or even their ornament breaks. I'll make sure I have extra kits, but then I also make sure just I have extra pieces. So um, we are gonna make kits up and Cody has been helping me with these. So we are putting everything in these except the pom-poms because I don't really wanna count out the pom-poms. Um, so I have the cup the ornament, the ribbon, the hook, and there is the uh, 25 cent sticker. Now, you really don't even need anything to rub these down on. You can do it with just your finger um, because this is not something that's going to like go through your dishwasher or anything. So, it doesn't even require a tool for that. So, Cody has helped me. So, we're going to finish making these. I'm just going to um, put these in probably like a brown... Uh, paper gift bag, great old big gift bag, so that I have them for school. And like I said, I'm not going to uh, distribute these, but I do have a container that when I get there, I can dump them out in. Um, so that's how we're prepping. Um, we're gonna do, we got two classes of 24. So as you can see, we've already, we've already started. And every kid, as they come to us, they'll just get one of these and we'll be ready to start assembling. Um, as some of them were, were gluing, they can be putting pom-poms in. So a group of four or five, I'll be able to manage if I'm well prepped. So um, if you're thinking of doing a craft with, your, um, with a group of kids, take a little bit of time, do the prep work. It will definitely make a sample so they can see it, so that you've gone through the process. You can figure out anything that goes wrong and also any supplies that you need. So good luck. Happy crafting. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.